Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a picnic basket. I'll be using my picnic basket to sit with my family of teddies on the picnic blanket to go on my teddy bear's picnic baby blanket. I've recently set up a Patreon account to help keep my website and YouTube channel going. I'll have the details in the description below. Now I'll be using a light brown four ply crochet cotton. I've got a 1.25 millimetre crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch the handle to the basket. Now I start at the bottom of the basket and I work 20 chain. For row 1 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet you put your hook into the stitch, so I miss the first stitch, so into the second stitch and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. And then we need one single crochet into each remaining stitch. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn our work and we work 1 single crochet into the first stitch. Next we're going to work 1 double crochet into the bottom of the next stitch. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK and we're going to work into the chain, the foundation chain at the bottom of the next stitch. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook in to the bottom chain, down in there, and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through the first two loops, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through the next two loops. Then we work a single crochet into the next stitch, and then a double crochet into the bottom of the following stitch. So into the chain at the bottom of the next stitch. Yeah. 
and we repeat that across a single crochet into the next stitch and then a double crochet into the bottom of the following stitch. Then a single crochet into the next stitch and a double crochet into the bottom of the following stitch. And we work a single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn. We work one double crochet into the bottom of the first stitch. So just down in there you can just see where the bottom is. and then a single crochet into the top of the next stitch and repeat that a double crochet into the bottom of the next stitch and a single crochet into the top of the following stitch And we finish with one double crochet into the bottom of our last stitch. And our pattern's starting to take form. Now we repeat rows two and three, three more times and row two once more. So for row two we start with one chain and turn our work 
and we start with a single crochet in the top of the first stitch and a double crochet into the bottom of the following stitch and then repeat that across the row a single crochet in the top of the next stitch and a double crochet in the bottom of the following stitch And we finish with a single crochet in the top of the last stitch. For the next row, which will be a, a row three, we start with one chain and turn and we work a double crochet in the bottom of the first stitch and then a single crochet in the top of the following stitch. And we repeat that right across a double crochet in the bottom of the next stitch and a single crochet in the top of the following stitch. So I'll work this row and I'll be back. Now I finished with a double crochet in the bottom of my last stitch. For the next row I start with one chain and turn. I work a single crochet into the top of the first stitch and then a double crochet into the bottom of the next stitch and then a single crochet into the top of the next stitch and a double crochet into the bottom of the following stitch and I repeat that across the row so I'll work this row and I'll meet you at the end. Now I finished with a single crochet in the top of the last stitch. For the following row I start with one chain and turn. I work one double crochet into the bottom of the first stitch and a single crochet into the top of the following stitch. So a double crochet into the bottom of the next stitch and a single crochet into the top of the following stitch. So I'll work this row and I'll be back. I finished with a double crochet in the bottom of the last stitch. For the next row I start with one chain and turn. I work a single crochet in the top of the first stitch and then a double crochet in the bottom of the next stitch. So a single crochet in the top of the next stitch and a double crochet in the bottom of the following stitch and repeat that to the end of the row. So I'll work this row and I'll meet you at the end. I finished with a single crochet in the top of the last stitch 
For the next row we start with one chain and turn. We start with one double crochet in the bottom of the first stitch and then work a single crochet in the top of the next stitch. Then we work a double crochet in the bottom of the next stitch and a single crochet in the top of the following stitch and repeat that to the end of the row. So a double crochet in the bottom of the next stitch and a single crochet in the top of the following stitch. So I'll work this row and I'll be back. I finished with a double crochet in the bottom of the last stitch. For the next row I start with one chain and turn and work a single crochet in the top of the first stitch and then a double crochet in the bottom of the following stitch and repeat that a single crochet in the top of the next stitch and then a double crochet in the bottom of the following stitch. So I'll work across this row and I'll meet you at the end. Now that's all the rows of the body of the basket. I'm going to be working a neatening row around the sides and half double crochet across the top so that's going to make it a bit bigger. For my neatening row I start with one chain and then I work a single crochet into each stitch down the side. I just find a suitable place to work my single crochet, not too far from the edge. Into my corner stitch I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And then work a single crochet into each stitch along the bottom. And I continue working single crochets along the bottom into the corner stitch I work one single crochet one chain and one single crochet and then work a single crochet into each stitch up to the corner and then I'll be back. Now I've needed around the sides and the bottom. For along the top I work two chain and then I'm going to work one half double crochet in each stitch. A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet I put the yarn around my hook, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And I work one half double crochet into each stitch across.
and then I fasten off. And that's the basket part complete. For the handle, I start with 30 chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. You could make your handle longer or shorter if you'd prefer. And you could make your basket bigger. You just have to make sure you started with an even number of chain. At the end of the row you fasten off and that's a handle. I'll just weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's my pieces, the bottom of the basket and the handle. To make it up all I do is attach the handle to the basket. I leave a little gap at the edges and I just stitch it at the bottom of the neatening row, the half double crochet row. So in like that. So I'll stitch that on and I'll be back to show you the finished basket. And there's the finished picnic basket. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns in both US and UK terminology and also the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.